is this real? Because this is by the New York Post, and they're not a satire news organization, but they I hate them. So I want to believe this is fake news. I want to believe that... I want to believe this isn't real. There's no... Oh, you guys can't see. Yeah, honestly, I'm sparing you uh, by not letting you see what, what's on my screen right now. Oh, boy. Kyle Rittenhouse unveils video game where players shoot fake news turkeys. And you play as him dressed up as he was at Kenosha, too. Oh, yes. Why didn't they give him an AR-15 in the game, though? They should have given him an AR-15 in the game. That would have been perfect. Oh, my God. And he commented that down below shilling for the game. No way, dude. Shameless. Hold on. I have to I have to do something really quick. Shameless. Kyle Rittenhouse's turkey shoot. You got the fake news and MSDNC turkeys. Pre-order now for $10. Oh, let's watch the trailer. Wait, do we watch the trailer first? We're watching the trailer first and then we'll read the page. Mint Studios. Hi, I'm Kyle Rittenhouse. The, the audio balancing is already fucking terrible in the trailer. That's already a good sign. Listen, this is about to be good. This is going to be the next Hightail, frankly. This is going to beat Hightail, I think. And I don't think Hightail stands a chance. What, what year is this game coming out? Hightail better not come out the same year as this game. Whew. You might know me as the guy who was recently acquitted from all charges in the Kenosha self-defense case. From the very beginning, I did nothing wrong. But that didn't stop the media from smearing. But he really has taken the grifty road, and I get, you know, money's money, but still. Jesus Christ, how shameless can it get? Can we watch this in full screen, please? Smearing. Thank you. My name. It's time to fight back against the fake news machine. This is why I'm launching the Kyle Rittenhouse fake news turkey and shoot video game. <laughs> The media is nothing but a bunch of turkeys with nothing better to do than push their lying agenda and destroy innocent people's lives. So go to RittenhouseGame.com and pre-order the game now and help me fund the lawsuits to stop these fake news turkeys. It looks really cheap. I mean, Zan, you have to keep in mind, I don't think he could get a job doing literally anything else. Yeah, that's the thing, though, right? Like... At, like, on one hand, you've got the fact that can this kid get a job doing anything else at this point? But uh, then on the other hand, is that an excuse for then using what prominence you have to be a horrible person? Like, I feel like, you know what? No, that, that's bullshit. He could easily turn this all around. He could easily have gone the woke route with all of this. Like, if he, he didn't have to go the grifter route with all of this. He could have been a perfectly reasonable, like, advocate for self-defense who's not like overtly politically partisan and doesn't need to go down some grifty route to what make a, a cheap uh, bullshit video game to raise money to sue the media companies. The fuck. Fade news turkey shoot. Got a laser gun going pew, pew, pew. Filing lawsuits. We about to bankrupt the fake news. Go to rittenhousegame.com. Pre-order now. I see. Kyle's a terrorist. I mean, listen, he's not doing he's not doing much for for his he's not doing much for his name in hindsight. Like this is gonna be one of those cases where like we, we go back we're gonna look back in the future. Kyle Rittenhouse is going to be this big conservative public figure who's going to essentially be Maybe not on the tier of Tucker Carlson, but at the very least going to spread, you know, just as harmful of an ideology as Tucker Carlson. He'll be on the Daily Wire, Fox News or some shit like that. Um, maybe even the Blaze. And, uh, you know, it's that's just how it's going to be. We predicted this a while ago. Wait, didn't I say that he was going to become a conservative media figure? Wasn't this like back in 2020 or whatever? I said Kyle Rittenhouse, mark my words, he's going to become a conservative media figure. What the hell was that music, bro? That was ass. Listen, I think that was Kyle Rittenhouse himself rapping or, or trying to rap. 
Zan fortune teller arc. I think I've been a fortune teller for a while. All right, let's let's read these. Let's read these. <clears throat> fake news turkeys. Shoot the fake news turkeys that attack Kyle to get the highest score. Compl- compete with friends and unlock new levels. Become Kyle. Play as Kyle Rittenhouse to destroy the fake news turkeys in a simple point-and-shoot game for all ages to enjoy. Ah, all ages to enjoy, of course. Um, remember, guys, the left is trying to indoctrinate your kids. Help raise funds. Kyle Rittenhouse is raising funds to sue the left-wing media organizations for defamation. And now you can help. Help Kyle. This game will aid Kyle's legal defense against the fake news. Hey, notice how they don't specifically mention any particular media organizations here? Not CNN, not... Well, the closest you really get is MSDNC, but that's not even mentioning MSNBC by name. No actual lawsuits are being announced here as far as I'm aware. Does anybody know if he's announced what and who he's suing yet? I know that he's he said he does plan to... Uh, to sue some of the outlets that said that he that covered him in a way that made him look as though he was a terrorist, but has he even announced which media outlets and like what he's suing over? Would that even be public in the first place? Would that be settled privately? Or the dude just has a vehement hate for turkeys? Listen, he grew up in Wisconsin, right? Don't they have a lot of turkeys there? I imagine they do. Okay, I know nothing about that part of the country. I've never been to that part of the country. Don't plan to go there. What the fuck is there? What what is there in that like part of the country that's like anything west of like the west of, of the east coast up north? Like all that shit that touches Canada going down a couple states up to around like Montana or Colorado. Like what the fuck is the, yeah, the Midwest is like the most boring part of the country. So to be fair, what else was Kyle Rittenhouse going to do on that night than go out? Listen, okay, we're memeing around. We're getting, we're memeing too close to the sun. We're memeing too close to the sun. No, in all seriousness, I do think this is a grift. I mean, I understand the guy can't really make money doing anything else at this point uh, besides maybe uh, being a reasonable uh, public figure who advocates for responsible gun ownership and self-defense. That's always an option, but that doesn't really make the big bucks. This doesn't surprise me, but... Him doing something like this doesn't surprise me. But it being this overt and this mask off does surprise me. I thought that he would just kind of become a more... You know that uh, the comments section of Brett Cooper channel that we started covering? I figured he'd be more something like that as a conservative demagogue. I didn't think he was actually going to market the whole shooting thing. Th this He's forfeiting the whole, like... Uh, Oh, it's wrong to make fun of him when he was crying in court thing, by the way. Like, uh, the, the whole, oh, this is a traumatic event, traumatic experience thing. You can't really hold on to that when you're now monetizing the whole, like, become Kyle. Like, come on. This clearly is not how somebody who is traumatized by an event uh, would market something, which does play pretty strongly into my more leaning onto the side of things that Kyle Rittenhouse probably went to Kenosha that night hoping somebody would. Uh, you know, uh, maybe something happens, you know, maybe somebody tries to come after me or, or tries to get a little too close or, you know, maybe tries to swing at me and, you know, it's legal. It's why I brought the gun. You know, it's, uh, that makes me... The more I learn about Kyle Rittenhouse from that fight he had with that girl... Do you remember that video where he's, like, beating up on that girl? There's that one video... And then, like, just the, the more shit I learn about him in general, especially after the the case, after getting acquitted and him going full, like, right-wing uh, grifter, kind of makes me feel as though, why did he wear gloves? Why was he wearing gloves? I'm pretty sure he had, like, a medic bag there, didn't he? Didn't he have, like, a medic bag for helping people? He had medical gloves on, like, sur like, like medical surgical gloves, the blue ones that he would wear for, like... He literally had a, a medical bag with him. He had like a like a first aid bag. He claimed that it was for helping just generally anybody who was hurt. But I mean, he could have just said that. I mean, it also could have just been for helping, you know, somebody there that he more so agreed with. The best case for Kyle's that his intentions was to defend himself and thought an auto rifle would be the best uh, to intimidate off rioters and was regretting regretting being there and went over his head. Yeah, that's like the best case scenario for Kyle to look like a, you know, like a morally upstanding person. But then if you then after the fact 
Like, you go through this traumatic event where you're forced to shoot multiple people, even multiple, two, two of those people believing that you were a mass shooter, like, who was just shooting people. So it was like a, a miscommunication scenario, right? And then you then go on to monetize and capitalize and market that whole scenario in, like, the most shameless both knockoff cheap and also corp soulless corporate way possible i don't know it just it, it's it's bitter to me it, it tastes bitter in my mouth all right listen guys if you enjoyed this segment please consider leaving a like both on the stream if you're watching right now as i'm live or if you're watching this on the you know as a video when it goes up after the fact uh no matter you know when you're watching this likes are not just a simple show of support to me YouTube does actually respond to them. When you like a video, comment, I uh, generally video. send any support Trans to me on YouTube. Trans underscore gal asterisk has donated asterisk five dollars. When you send me any support on YouTube like that, it does boost my channel in the algorithm, thus exposing me to new people, new subscribers, and potentially conservatives whose ideas can, you know, who, or sorry, whose minds can be changed by my ideas. So yeah, consider hitting that like button. If you want to see more from me, subscribe and hit the bell icon to turn on all notifications so YouTube does actually tell you when I upload a new video or when I go live or upload a short. And of course, if you want to see more from me online, you can follow all of my social medias, all linked down below in the description, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and my fan Discord, all down below. And if you want to support me more directly financially, you can do so on my website, xanderhall.com forward slash live, in the form of direct donation, which is always very much appreciated. Or you can subscribe for yourself, either a tier one, two, three, or four sub. You can gift subs to other people if, you've already, if you already have one and you want to gift some to some other people. It also helps me. And you can also just sub for yourself but regardless of how you support me you can also do it on youtube twitch stream live stream elements patreon i do appreciate it thank you so much for watching and have a good one